Hello. Um, I'm very excited to be here on this very exciting day. I would like to um, talk to you about the subject of sustainability. Sustainability is a subject that I have been thinking and learning about for quite some time and teaching to art and design students at Art Center College of Design. It's a very serious subject, but it's also very exciting because it represents the ability to live our lives in a new and better way on this planet. It's serious because it is concerned with the potent influence that we have on our planet. And it's exciting because if we learn to manage those influences, those impacts, then we have the opportunity to coexist on this planet in a way such that we support the Earth and the Earth can continue to support us. Now, there's a, a bit of a problem with sustainability in that a lot of people use the term, but they misuse it basically because they misunderstand it. If you ask people about what they, how they would define sustainability, they most likely will tell you, well, I recycle, I'm sustainable. But we know it's not just about recycling. Sustainability is a much bigger idea. It encompasses everything. In fact, it's the biggest idea that I know. So how do we approach such a big idea, such a big concept? And what I'd like to do is share with you three ideas, three kind of mental pictures that I've developed over all the years that I've been kind of studying this and teaching this, and hopefully it will make the topic a little more understandable for you. The first idea around sustainability has to do with systems. You have to recognize that we are all part of a system. Now, this is something that we all understood at one point. I bet many of you, if you were to pull out a third or fourth grade textbook, you'd find your name in there and you'd give your um, universal address. You would show where you lived all the way down through to the Milky Way galaxy and to the universe. You understood that you were a small part in a very big system. Somehow, as we got older, we unlearned this. As we began to learn things more specifically, our world got bigger until it overwhelmed all of the other parts of the system. In fact, the Earth was just something that revolved around us. I like to use this picture here as a way to represent my place in the system, in the universe. It puts me into the proper scale. So please, idea number one is learn to appreciate and recognize the system that you belong to, and you'll begin to recognize all the other systems that coexist with you and perhaps also interact with your system. Now that we have recognized that sustainability is about systems, have we defined sustainability? Is that it? Well, not at all. The system is a snapshot. Okay? It's, it's a picture of what the world looks like. What we're really interested in are the behaviors and the relationships between parts of the system. A system is dynamic. Matter and energy cycle through systems. It causes growth and change. We adapt, we evolve. The sustainability part of it lies within those intersections between parts of the systems within the behaviors. We like to call this, um, these behaviors as being part of a life cycle. A life cycle can be used to represent man-made systems, and it often starts with extracting a raw material all the way through manufacturing and use to eventual reuse or disposal. Life cycles can be simple, or they can be, they most often are very complex. In this, for example, you could take the life cycle of a t-shirt, and you can study the relationships between the different parts of the system and determine where you might have an opportunity to make improvements, where you might kind of dial down negative impacts and introduce more positive impacts. Uh, what, is, what are the consequences 
of material choice, organic cotton versus regular cotton? Um, what about during manufacturing? What about if I uh, choose a particular dye? What impact might that have on certain criteria like air quality or water quality or carbon dioxide gases? So a life cycle is essential. It's essential to understand the life cycle so you can understand the impact of man-made systems. It's always essential if we're going to talk about and provide for sustainability. If you don't understand the life cycle, you're just guessing. And my last idea is this notion of design. We don't just live our lives. We create, we make, we intend, we are intentional in our lives. We design our lives. And designers have an equation that they like to use to describe what they do. They say design is the total of form and function, but we now know that's not enough. It doesn't provide for sustainability. We must make sustainability a priority of the designing, the crafting, the making of our lives. So in summary, idea number one, it's a system. Put that picture in your mind. Number two, understand the life cycles of everything. And number three, introduce sustainability by intent. Intend to live a life and make better, that makes better choices. And lastly, um, I wanted to give you something in exchange for you inviting me to be here. And these are the first ever sustainicons. You've, you use emoticons. Um, I created um, three sustainicons that I hope you will use uh, to communicate about these ideas. And I hope actually that you'll add to them because there are many more that we could be using. Thank you so much.